Hey guys, what's up? It's XS here, and welcome back to another batch file tutorial. Last tutorial, we learned how to make user input and how to set variables. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you the if statement, the if else statement, and the else statement. These can be very useful whenever you have a user input, like say for an options menu. Option 1 is to start the game. Option 2 is to go to the about page, where it shows like the information. Option 3 is exit. What you could do is you can say, if that user inputs the number 1, then you go to the start game, like right here, where you have main, you can make a start game one. Or, say, if the user presses t or puts in 2 and hits enter, then it says about, goes to the about page, and then 3 would just be exit. So I want to teach you guys how to do that, so let's get started. Now first thing we want to do is um, have them enter an option, so echo, enter, and option. So now we have that, we're going to skip a line, then we're going to output our options. My first option is going to be start game. This isn't going to be a game though, this is just for t tutorial purposes. Then option number two is for the about page. Three is to exit. Now, here's where the magic happens. So what we want to do is have a user input something, right? So set slash p, like we learned in the last tutorial, input equals, no spaces, remember that, I always do spaces because in Java, but I don't do it here, enter an option. So this prompts the user to enter an option. Now here's the meat of the tutorial right here. So what you want to do is type if, and then what you want to do is percent input, which is our user variable, if it equals 1, then you put parentheses right here, like this. Now if it equals 1, what do we want to do? Well, we want it to go to start, start game, just so we can be a little more clear on things. Now, else if, this is basically another if statement, but it goes right after the if statement. So you never use this first. You only use the you only use this right after the if statement. So else if input is equal to two, what do we want to do? Well, we want it to go to about. So now our last one, no, wait, our one before the last one. Right here we go. Else if percent input percent is equal to 3 then we put parentheses like that then we put go to no you don't even have to go put to go to because that's just a waste of time all you have to do is type in these four simple letters exit like that sorry guys one second I gotta do something alrighty guys I'm back alright so we left off with the exit right here right so now what we want to do is we want to add the else, and this is basically going to be our error. If they don't enter 1, 2, or 3, what do we want to do? Well, we type in else just like that, and then we do that like that. Now, what we want to do, so that way we don't have too much stuff going on here, is create a checkpoint right here. So I'm just going to call it C1, just for simple. And capitalization is important. Alright, so what we're going to do is if it's wrong we want to we want to clear the screen and this isn't something I taught you yet but it's basically CLS just like that so it clears the screen then what you want to do is echo out something as a title like you got an error skip a couple lines now we want to put something else as like a subtitle or something you didn't enter the right sorry guys caps lock character so they didn't enter the right character now just put that set for neatness now everything's set up all we gotta do is just create 
the two new loops. So what we do is right here, we put start game, and for this we just want to clear the screen and echo game starts here. And then pause that, make it not visible. Now we want the about, right? So let's go to about. Sorry about that. I cannot type today. CLS echo about page, and I did that on purpose because I just wanted to emphasize it for some reason, but I'm weird like that. Like that, and yeah, should be done right now. So now all you gotta do, save it, go to desktop, double click it. Alright, now we're prompted to enter an option. We can either enter one, two, or three. Alright, let's start out with entering one. So we put one. It says the game starts here, right? And then you go to the about page because that's the next thing down. It doesn't actually end the thing yet because we forgot to put that, but we will eventually, hopefully. So then we run it again, and if we click two, the about page right here, which is awesome. So now if we go to back to it, then we enter three, it exits completely. Alright guys, so that was your short tutorial on the if statement. I hope you got everything right and keep working with this and practicing until you get good at it. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. This is Excess here, signing out. Comment, rate, and subscribe. And tell your friends. And yeah, bye.